Hey everybody, it's Eric from WanderWithEric.com. I've got a question for you. What's long and hard and full of semen? No, 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 no. Get your mind out of the gutter. It's a submarine. Today I'm here in Portsmouth, New Hampshire, checking out the USS Albacore, which is a historic Cold War era submarine from the US Navy. It's also a museum where you can go inside and look at the restored submarine. We're gonna walk through the exhibit where we can see what life was like for those people who served on board. And we're going to talk about why this particular submarine is historic and important. Before we start, if you like what you see in today's video, please click the like button. Please share it with all your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment. All that kind of good stuff helps the channel keep growing. Now that that's all out of the way, come with me as I wander on board the USS Albacore. During World War II, the submarine proved itself an important part of any modern navy, but these subs weren't designed to stay submerged for more than a day or two. Battery limitations would result in darkness and the air would quickly become unbreathable due to a lack of oxygen and excessive CO2. After the war, with the power of the atom unleashed, the United States and the Soviet Union both sought to harness nuclear energy to provide more reliable power to naval ships, including submarines. In addition, engineers were eager to test out improved batteries and newly developed oxygen generators and CO2 scrubbers in new submersible designs. All this meant that new subs could stay underwater for long periods of time, and that being the case, the design should emphasize underwater performance at the expense of surface maneuverability. Utilizing wind tunnels, engineers developed a streamlined shape that would come to be known as the teardrop hull. The first American prototype designed in this way began construction in 1950 and departed Portsmouth Naval Shipyard for its first open water voyage in April 1954, designated the USS Albacore. The Albacore was never designed for combat, but rather to be an experimental testbed for new technologies, which, if successful, would be implemented on future designs. It never got a nuclear power plant, instead opting for General Motors' pancake diesel engines, which proved unreliable. Nevertheless, the Albacore was valuable in helping the Navy develop quieter, faster, safer, and more maneuverable subs that could stay submerged for long periods of time. In 1958, the USS Skipjack launched on its maiden voyage, combining the design elements of the Albacore with a nuclear power plant for the first time. All subsequent U.S. subs would have a similar configuration. The Albacore was finally decommissioned in 1972 and put out to pasture in Philadelphia Naval Shipyard. After Herculean efforts by preservationists, it was moved back to Portsmouth, New Hampshire and put on display in a purpose-built enclosure opening to the public in 1986. The USS Albacore is listed on the National Register of Historic Places and is designated a National Historic Landmark. The submarine and visitor center are open to the public. Not a lot of room in here. How would you like to be the guy who has to sleep down here?
These are luxurious by comparison to the other ones. Small space behind the wardroom is the ship's office.
Well, there you have it. That was pretty cool. Definitely worth seeing if you're a fan of naval history or if you happen to be in this area. It's one of the cool things to do around town here. Thanks for taking the time to wander with Eric today. I hope you'll wander with me again next time. In the meantime, don't forget to keep exploring.